Alright, baby, we back once a motherfucking again with that 6.5 top trundle my way beginner guide. Now, why is this a beginner guide? Um, well, the basics, the basics to, to understand, you know, the top lane carry is, is just learning how to sustain and, and reading your opponent, uh, seeing what type of player he, uh, he is uh, when it comes to CS and, um, you know, everything, you know, you know, a beginner guide, you know, it is, you know, some of you guys that are in gold can definitely learn a lot from this, plat, even fucking diamond, why, because, you know, I feel like people are, are all about team deathmatch, like, if I was to play, in, if I was to play in, uh, um, uh, D5, then, you know, you know, I feel like, you know, it's easy to take advantage of, uh, of those people, because, you know, they're all about team deathmatch, they don't, they don't think ahead, but, let's go back to the, the beginning, beginning parts of this uh, uh, laning phase. We, you know, it's all about CS. And now, whenever Garen, you know, goes up to hit me, of course, I'll kind of walk back. You know, if he cues me on top of my minions, um, and I'm using Grassland and Dying, so I'm, I must be like level 23, 24, 25, but it's pretty much the same thing as like, like bronze, silver, and I'll say even gold, because people make a lot of mistakes. You see, he comes into me, just sit there and uh, hit him. Just, just, just farm it up. Um, he is just, I'm, he, and one thing is, like, he has more CS than me, but the lane is gonna be pushing back towards me. I don't, I don't care. And right here, you see, I have to s sacrifice that CS because, look, I go up there to try to get it, he's, but he's gonna tax me for it. Um, but it's fine, you know, because if he keeps doing that, you know, he's gonna end up missing CS. So just keep looking at his CS right now. So with the caddy wave already coming out, which it being the first, um, he's missed five of the CS. And the lane's pushing back towards me, and I don't get this caddy because I tried to double uh, auto and I missed that one. So, um, with that caddy wave pulling up, um, I have 14, I think he had 13 if I'm not mistaken, or I don't know exactly. But just keep watching, because, you know, it kind of evens out. You know, it's all about farming. So, melees, 1, 2 turret shots, and an auto attack. Right here, I'm going to have the auto attack and then reset it with the Q. Because, you know, his minion was focusing, and I, right here, okay, well, he took aggro. And then right there, I'm not doing enough damage. And when you don't have, like, all the runes and shit uh, that you need, you know, it might be somewhat of a struggle. But I still have, um, no, I still have my Q to reset or W to give me more attack speed. So here, I'm just going to farm. You see how he comes in? Now, I hit him. I take aggro from him, but it doesn't really matter uh, this early. You know, he's only got a Dorn shield. He doesn't have Dorn's blade. It wouldn't make a big difference anyway. And plus, if we're both on the same page when it comes to runes and masteries, not having them, it's all good. So here... So here, you see how I, I'm moving off to the side, you know, I'm near my turret. If he tries to run at me with his Q, then I'll walk back. And the melee one right here coming at me, I'm going to have to auto-attack that and let the tower uh, come. And then I'll just reset it with my Q just in case I don't my auto-attack doesn't get it. So here, just just back to farming, 22 to uh, 21. You know, just, just, just keep doing it. They're all bloodthirsty. I mean, 90% of the time... People are just fucking bloodthirsty. They don't know any better. So right here, you see how I the tower is about to hit it. I don't just sit there and wait for the tower to hit, because I know I'm gonna have to auto attack and then reset it with my Q. Because if I don't, uh, I'm gonna miss it. And then the same thing. Oh, I was able to do enough damage. I might have to auto attack reset with the Q here. Um, and then boom, reset. It. And plus, I didn't start like a long sword or a Doran's blade or anything like that. So here, looks like the lane. I'm gonna be able to freeze it again. See how he comes on on me? I'll let him Q me. I don't care. Fuck it. Continue to farm. Get out of his banner. Uh, ca um, the caddy's not running up, so like I said, just continue to farm. Melees will always roll up. So one, two again. This is basic training, boys. One, you see this one right here. You see how this minion is hitting this one? Uh, if it, okay, I auto attack it right ahead of time. Then I'll either um, I'll either auto attack it one more time, or just reset it with the Q. And then here you get the extra AD, so you have 104, 104, right there. See a tower? Boom. Right there, 104. Well, hold on. Okay, wow. I guess um, I got that penetration, baby. So when you have that Q, hold on. Does it show the damage and then reset it with the Q? Nope, it didn't have to. Well, does it? What is my damage? So let's see. The attack increases Trundle's attack damage by uh, by 34. So I mean, that's that's a lot of fucking damage uh, that you're getting uh, for eight seconds. Um, if you're getting that shit for eight seconds, you see how life. Is, is is simple so we're coming back into lane right now so um let's talk about teleport now uh do you guys struggle with teleport do you know when to teleport now if we backtrack this right here in the wave that he just pushed if um let me have i'm gonna have to rewind this so here 
is when I decide to back. And it, he decides to go ahead and spin a Rooney uh, on that. And let's see. Boom. Let's get that. Misses that one. Misses that one. Oh, cues that one. Gets that one. 33 to 37. With the lane pushing towards back to me. Uh, back to me. So uh, and now you see my items. This is a uh, uh, Bambi Center. I call it Bambi Center. Uh, uh, I know it's Bambi's or whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, so I got the Center and the Cloth Armor. Uh, the, the the burn is definitely gonna help. So here, you see how he spins on me? Okay. Um, let him do that. He pulls back and right here auto attack, and then the burn's helping. Oh fuck, I was bad. I was bad. I should have let the tower hit it. Um. So I'm gonna kind of stay away, or if he wants to stay in lane, I know I'm good. I have no pots, but I'm not worried about it. I'm like, okay, I'm auto attack Q. As you can see, he's not doing any damage. I went back to go get uh, uh, some items, even though it's just HP. But all in all, you know, we're back to farming, 41 to 35, and the lane's pushing back uh, towards me. And you know, um, and if you struggle with farm, um, I'll put the runes and masteries you need that'll that'll help you out. And then just go ahead and uh, let that burn. Oh my god, did I really miss that? See, I'm missing a lot of CS here, and I'm tilted, trust me. You know, I, I stream this game, but just just watch how this lane go goes down. So, um, you know, I, I've been here the whole time. When you learn how to freeze the lane, control it so you're safe from any enemy ganks. Because, like I said, you know, I'm playing the safe, nice, t uh, uh, chill. Just fucking chilling. Uh, once it starts pushing, I'll start pushing, but definitely trying to get to level 6 is my goal in this motherfucker So that if, you know, this motherfucker wants to spin on me, I will uh, uh, hit R and like, let me get these stats real quick Alright, so since the lane's already pushing, I'm gonna go ahead and push it out Next wave is right here So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, 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 push this out with the na- uh, no, uh, Oh shit, I don't know if I fight this dude, but I might back Now here's another thing now watch what Garen does. So you, I just used teleport, but I decided to say fuck it, whatever. So what Garen could have done after you, you know, I used my teleport um, to get back in a lane. He should know it's down for five minutes. Oh yeah, I forgot they don't they don't keep track unless I, he knows I'm using Summoner's Insight, which puts it down to 255. Um, he decides to uh, push the lane. Now with the weight pulling up right here, all he had to do is block it, maybe auto attack. He can tank. And he lets uh, uh, my minions outnumber his minions to freeze the lane. And that's why I'm like, okay, let's see what type of player he is. Oh, he's a dumbass because he could have denied one whole wave. How much is one whole wave? Let's find out. And look how he pushes the lane. So with me back in and porting back in, how, many, how much CS did I miss? How much CS did I miss when I poured back in? Just one minion. So, so far, I, in seven minutes with my teleport, I used it to my advantage. I missed just one. We run him back in. With the caddy wave here, so I missed two minions. Two motherfucking minions. Now, every little bit uh, you want to tally up, guys. Every little bit, because it's all about understanding. So, we're going to go ahead and get ooh, the Bambi Center, not going to get that. But right there, look, I already got a 13 CS, like, plus all the CS I missed. And like I said, I'm fucking salty. You shouldn't be missing those CS, but, uh, you know, it's, it's all about the rhythm. My rhythm's not always the best, micro wise. You know, I'm pretty shit. You know, it used to be really good when I play top, and uh, you know, I was decent at locking my screen. But I'm really a lazy player now. Uh, but I'm gonna work on that and try to uh, make sure to up my my last hit. And you'll see in the NASA's game that I kind of step it up because uh, I had to. And this dude, like, yo, please get the fuck off me. So teleports up in 80 seconds. So I don't want to do anything stupid. I want to chill. I don't because what if I get chunked out and I have to run back in the lane? I don't want to be denied any farm. I have no uh, ulti. So what I'll do is just let him push this out. We already know he's gonna push it out, right? Like go up the last hit. Boom! He tries to hit his Q. Comes at me. I I kind of don't want to use mana, so we're just gonna boom. Hit that reset. You see this? And I auto attack him to get a little bit of back too from my grass of undying. And he's gonna pull it up. And we got a little burn. Oh my god, man. That's so bad. That is really, really bad. Really, really bad. But I'm still 78 to 15. Alright, no ulti. Alright, melee. Uh, my caddy's blocking up, but the melee slips through. One, two. I just do a little bait action here. You see how I'm going for the minions, not him. Uh, you know, I don't want to get fucking spin a Rooney. If he gets the kill, I'm okay with that. I had no mana. I'm not going to sit there and just try to walk at him when he's going to hit Q and he has more movement speed than me. Um, but yeah, there we go. So, Garen has teleport. 
Um, he's up in 19 seconds. We know he's going to use it. My teleport's uh, coming up too. So do I want to use my teleport to get back in the line? And you see this shit, man? It's just all, a lot of CS down the drain. I could save my teleport. I can pour it back in instantly. Now let's watch what he does. Uh, and then I go back. I have some fire cape now. He decides to use his teleport. Now, um, remember I missed two CS. I decided to pour it in because he decided to pour it in. I didn't want to miss one. So I have this whole laning phase when it just comes to experience, regardless of whatever I missed. Um, uh, and that's Sunfire Cape right there. You see the burn? That right there, the back wave. So here I'm like, bitch, please. Now I'm going to start pressuring because, you know, I got an item. Now, now you, you, I know you watched, uh, you know, um, you know, like, you know, LCS, Pro, when they play Trondo and they build these other items. Trust me. Your best item you can get when you... Okay, here's the thing about Sunfire Cape. Let me break it down. Now, they buffed it where it does double damage uh, uh, to minions. So you could, I could just sit on top of waves and just burn them and, and take a little bit of damage once they die, you know, with the pass of certain champions. It's really great. Um, but Sunfire Cape, the faster... the Yeah, the faster you get this fucking item, the more easy you're, it's going to be to create pressure in your lane. Bot lane, mid lane, our feed in, jungler sucks. Then you can just say, fuck it, let's go proxy with this Sunfire Cape, not gonna take any damage. Plus, I'm playing against the AD champion. I want Nidalee to come at me. I want that bitch to come at me. I wanna pressure this lane now. He doesn't have a Sunfire Cape, but still has a spinner, but I have armor, which uh, will allow me to just sit in a spinner if I want to, but I won't. And I just missed another caddy, right? Am I mad? Fuck, I'm, I'm fucking, I'm really mad. I mean, I missed a lot, but look at my CS at, at 11, man. It's not too bad. I mean, you know, you would take that shit in bronze, right? If you used to get in like 60 at this point in the game. But fucking 95, I'm not happy with that. Because this is, you know, this is pretty like bronze silver. You gotta farm better than this. Now, right here, now, let's analyze the situation. I have a minuet pulling up. I have a Garen that's really not gonna be pumping out damage. And I see in Italy, I'm like, okay. So what do you do in this situation? So if she walks up to me and I'm sitting here doing, um, what's my auto attack doing? 125 plus the reset on this, 250 on top. If I bite that bitch, plus, you know, stealing damage from her, um, and then attack speed that I get, plus healing is increased, plus um, jacking 25%, uh, 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 or is it 20% of uh, this guy's maximum health, uh, and then um, taking 40% of their magic and uh, armor and magic resistance. And then this bitch comes into my lane, so 250 plus, you know, if I did want to alter, but I'll probably ult Garen, I'm like, kill this motherfucker. But this is the thing about getting a raw item. Like, if I was playing against an AP champion, I had 95 CS, that'd be de that'd still be good to rush a Sunfire Cape versus a uh, um, uh, 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 Magic Dealing champion. Um, unless, unless that dude's doing, you know, he's farming better than you, and he understands the ways. But then again, most of the time in the lower elos, like when you're just first starting off, it's all about aggro. Uh, who can be more aggro? Who can kill who first? But you don't want to think like that. You want him to be like that. And you want to take advantage of his aggressiveness and learn how to freeze and farm and con control the wave. And then he won't even realize it. So here, I said, yo, what up, baby girl? So I come in. You see how I just dro dro drop straight onto her? I drop the ulti onto Garen. You see my healing? There's the penis. I'm going to go ahead and say, what up? I kill her. She look, and not only that, she's sitting on top of me, and Sunfire Cape is doing what? 34 magic damage, dealing 50 bonus damage to minions and monsters. Yo, hold on, isn't that double? I thought they changed that shit. I could be wrong. Could be a spectator bug. Uh, but right there, you see how I got the red buff, and I'm just walking with them. And then here we go. So now, now with him using teleport to get back in the lane and forcing me to use my teleport. You have LeBlanc mid, you have uh, Soraka and pressure being put bot. But if it was the other way around where Soraka and um, uh, Jin are dominating this game, like if those two are dominating this game, what you need to do is take this tower ASAP. So here, um, I'm just going to drop W and then got a little burn -tation in the back. So I decide not to go for the tower. Um, Garen's still dead for four seconds. That means he, when he spawns, he comes from right here and he walks out. So you see, instead of, you know, like, like hitting this tower, I'm going to deny him one whole wave and then another whole wave. Just going to walk into the bush, going to go back. See, when you proxy this wave, the next wave is right here. And I'm already porting back, so this is going to give me time to run back into the lane. And there's Garen coming back in, so he gets denied one whole wave from that, plus getting me the double kill, and then... He gets the uh, the melees up here, and the casters in the back, and then I decide to go for a Tiamat, and then 
since I proxy the next wave, he comes back in to push the lane out. But not only that, that gank alone stopped him from finishing his Sunfire Cape. It's already 12 minutes in, and if we look at the gold lead right now, 4,800 to 3,500. So if I'm gaining a gold lead, let's say every minute I'm gaining 300 on him, I want to continue to do that even more if I can. Alright, so I make it back in, and I get all the CS. And if you look at my CS right now, 118, 12 minutes. Where's Garen at? You know, where is Garen? You know, my bot lanes, uh, uh, you know, with, with any, what do you call it, pressure and bot, um, I can just continue to farm. And Garen just showed mid, so I'm like, okay, let's just bang on this turn. He's getting denied another whole way by roaming mid, and they'll do this when they roam mid and they're wasting time. GG. GG either tower if I feel like going for it, but instead I'm just going to go ahead and clear the wave because I know this is about to die and I want to clear this before anybody comes at me or if I want to back. And there you go. You see me really not taking any damage. And and the next one's probably going to be Nasus and then a Garen, guys. So, you know, anything that you get, I'm going to try to break down. But you sh when you, the, the faster you get Sunfire Cape, look at my CS lead right now and look at, and look, how, okay, all the CS that I missed, but look at it. Look at it. It's 139 at fucking 13 minutes. So it's, I'm still doing 10 CS a minute, but imagine if I did better. When you see that Nasus game, you guys are going to be like, what the fuck is this? I, like, missed a few CS. But, you know, it, you got to take full advantage uh, while you're in bronze and silver uh, and even gold and even platinum uh, of just being able to just, you know, uh, uh, read a, the, the person you're playing against. And understand that he only knows one way to play this game. Yeah, the farm, but it's mainly next level just fucking let's kill this dude, you know. The aggro levels are always going to be high here. So I come over here, I'm going to just drop that Q and then pop him. And there's the flash. Alright, so I don't want to die here and I'm probably going to dip set. No, I think they're out. I don't know if I go, what's going on? Oh, there's Soraka. He's a lame. And see, this is a team deathmatch right here. Like, should the red team fight this? I mean, you got bot pushing back out. You have uh, nobody in mid. Uh, two of them just died. And they'll have a lot of uh, 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 meaningless, unnecessary uh, fights, you know, because I'm proxying in between turrets. And it's it's really, like, like unheard of uh, for a noob to see somebody you know, dominate this hard, you know, it's like, you know, it just doesn't make sense to him, why is this guy doing this, like, why is he in between our turrets, and the tower's still up, um, and they make the decision to chase, instead of focusing on what's, the, you know, important, which is, is farming, there's nothing more important than farming, you'll never, like I said, feel the truest of next levelness and power spikes until you farm, regard, you know, if it's tank or not, so, Garen, uh, looks like he's gonna DC, and here, look, why don't I take the turret? Because, you know, I don't need, I, I'm not going anywhere, you know, I, I want to kind of stall this game. But yes, we can run it down, but like I said, you know, I, I got everything. You know, I'm at 152 CS right now. Jax, whatever, who cares? Nobunaga, who cares? Uh, Lebron, who cares? Who fucking cares? You know, learn how to deny somebody to the fullest. We take a look at the gold lead right now. And look, it's already at 2200. Um, you know, it's some real-time struggles. Real-time struggles. Look what I just denied him. You see what I'm doing? Okay, the casters are coming back up, and these guys will follow my minions will focus uh, theirs. So it's just another way of just, you know, taking gold away from them. Now, if everybody's losing in this game, take the goddamn tower and go for the next one and, you know, draw more attention if you're, you know, if you don't ever want to leave your lane. If you don't ever want to leave your lane, that's fine. But when you don't ever want to leave your lane, I expect you to get to this fucking inhibitor. At the same time, draw attention. If they ignore you, then you're going to get it. You know, what is Garen going to do here? Did he already DC? And I mean, you know, I'm lazy. I'm going to just insta port and go back, pick up Hydra. And Garen's already gone, man. He AFK'd. Um, and that's going to be uh, Jin now holding his lane. But look at the CS, guys. 176. And I farm like shit. But that's not shit. You know, AK um, and continuing to grow. Look at the lead down in bot lane. This is what you're going to have when you dominate your own lane. You won't get the 302. Be happy with the zero, 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 you know, when I got my Sunfire Cape, what happened? Now imagine if I had like a, a Bambi Cinder, you know, and a, and a chain vest and I bought boots because I didn't have enough after I fucking, you know, didn't farm so well, you know, and I came back in the lane and Italy ganked me. It probably would have been a little bit different, you know, not having uh, that extra burn on top, you know, um, 
and not only that, not understanding how strong you are too. Um, you know, when it comes to overextending. But when you farm good guys, your kills, the three L two will come. When you farm like shit. You know, it, it really depends. You know, you're not gonna be like a motherfucking beast, but, you know, you'll get there. And another thing is, too, if you have lanes, you don't oh, you don't have to go Sunfire Cape, but Sunfire Cape, you, I mean, when you can just sit on top of Wave and not do anything in Wave Player, it's just too good to pass up. Here, I'm gonna drop a, a little bit too much disrespect, and, um, coming in. Just wanted to fight and have a good time. Fucking stupid ass clone. Oh my god, I'm bad. Oh my god. But look at that. that. That's four of them. And of course, every single lane's open. And what else can we talk about uh, in this video? Besides, I can't believe, man. I still ended up with 861. And here's the thing about, uh, uh, you know, missing a couple CS to the, you know, the guy that's playing super aggro and giving him the control, letting him feel like he's in, in, uh, in control. Um, you know, because he's sitting there farming, and, you know, you're you're somewhat, you know, I'm bait. I mean, well, I guess you can say I'm kind of baiting. I want him to, to auto-attack me on top of my wave so he takes aggro. And this guy right here, you know, don't ask for ganks. Don't ask for ganks unless you're for sure you can kill him, you know. And not let your jungler do it. Just tell him to go farm extra camps, you know. If, if you want to learn the ways... Uh, up top lane, do everything. Like I said, do everything yourself. Like you, I don't want help, man. Here, pretend like there's only uh, uh, a mid and and bottom. Uh, Jackson, never come to my lane. Let me be. Let me fend off for myself. Because when you're able to one v two top, and not every time, maybe not early game. Um, yeah, maybe not early game, but once you get an item or, you know, depending on what they're playing or if you're still able to get the enemy jungler, it's all about just surviving this early game. Now, I'm going to play different uh, uh, styles. I'm going to play that don't give a fuck style. But right here, you know, when I'm playing Toronto, you know, I'm just trying to get to that Sunfire Cape and then to my Titanic Hydra. Then I'm trying to beat up on your turrets. Uh, if I can do that, boom. And here's another thing. Like, Garen, he DC. You want to make motherfuckers DC? You know, like I said, far and well. I mean, what do you think Garen said when when I, I killed her? Like, did they expect that? Nobody expects it. They don't expect it. You know, it, it, it just doesn't make sense to them how he can 1v2 until it happens. Um, you, know, are, you know, are they blind? Do they look at the CS? Um, and a lot of times they don't look at the CS. They have no awareness whatsoever. It's just, you know, plain as fucking raw team deathmatch. And this is what I expect you to do. Um, uh, you know, when you play, it's make the motherfucker AFK, make him feel so useless, he might as well just AFK and take your own inhibitor, uh, uh, uh towers and inhibs if you get to the point, and then after that, you know, we can just start farming everything, now every single lane will be pushing, and life is good, right? I didn't even realize Garen at DC. Alright. So I'm just testing uh, uh, the young Trondo. Yo, I didn't get shit back, man. But mid's gonna, mid's gonna go down. Now, I got the Sunfire Cape around uh, 10 minutes. Now, this game's already over. I don't think there's nothing else to explain besides going back to when I bought uh, Sunfire Cape. So if I pause it right now, uh, I bought no, no pot, so I have my Sunfire Cape at 8 minutes, right? So I have at 8 minutes. If you're a fucking beast and you dominate the lane early and you have control and you start cloth armor and you're able to sustain till Sunfire Cape, you're, you're getting places. Um, um, if you go back and you can pick up Chain Vest and Bambi Cinder, good shit. Good shit. And then if you have 1100 gold but the motherfucker's annoying like this dude, he gets a little bit of damage onto you um, and you have enough to buy that and pour it back in, you can do that. That works too. Um, but yeah, you want to get you know where you start cloth armor, and and challenge yourself to see if you can go back on your first buy to have uh, to get that. So at nine minutes, um, with all the CS that I missed, you saw all the CS that I missed, right? Now you can go back and look at it. And if I get that now, oh shit! So if I would if I would have picked up uh, one uh, that one CS, I would have got my what do you call it at at 909 and then the one I missed at 7 the one I missed every little fucking detail when it comes to 
you know, uh, back in and get back in a lane and understand your teleport. Now you'll uh, you'll see that with um, my other two. I'm pretty sure I ran a teleport on uh, uh, the Nasus and the Garen, and I'll break down the teleports too because I want you to understand uh, your your teleports. You know when you should save it, when laning phase is over, and there's no need to pour back in the lane to get any type of advantage because once laning phase is over, after that, you know, you're gonna have to learn on what you have to do, you know, either with your team or yourself, if you feel like you can do everything yourself and put enough pressure and draw everybody to you. But if not, uh, I'm going to talk about that. And we're going to talk about uh, decisions made by your, you know, you know, see, the thing is, I didn't group up on my, my other two. Um, my my other two top beginner guides I'm going to do, which is Nasus and Garen. And I thought about, I was like, fuck, I should have just grouped up. I kind of wanted to win. But then again, you know, it was whatever. You know, and, and, and just read in the chat what he said uh, after they died, after going 0-4, and I didn't have teleport, I don't think. We'll find out. Um, he cried and said, um, uh, Na or Nas is Garen didn't group up, or whatever it was. It was it was like, you know, why do you why do you engage that? And you can't question that in these lower elos. So I'm going to break that down and give you guys more options to think about. And uh, so when you're in this kind of uh, uh, situation where, you know, you need to make plays or you need to fucking hold hands, you can do that rather than just oh my god my team just died what am I supposed to do trick but uh yeah other than that that's it you know you saw the fucking sunfire cape I actually stayed in lane for another wave but um I got it at I would have had it 914 if I would have backed so let's try to get an eight a seven minute sunfire cape remember guys it's all about farming that's uh that's the trundle ways other than that that's um that's been the beginner guide you know I kind of feel like this wasn't all that great but then again you know um we'll we'll check the other ones out. Um, I hope you guys, you know, if you have any questions, make sure you put them down and, uh, you know, I, I always read the uh, comments. I know I was supposed to uh, read uh, some of the comments and make a little video on it. I'm going to try to get that out. And if you guys want to TRK bronze me, I'm sorry. I apologize. You know, my ass is just fucking bad. Let's just, just give me a 2B. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to drop a like. And uh, peace. Motherfucking late. Alright guys, so um, I put the the runes in the back at the end of the video, I mean, um, just so that I don't waste like the first part boring you with runes and masteries, because if you don't care, then whatever. But if you do, this is what you need right here. You want MR armor um, uh, and, and flat damage on everything. And then when you, when you, if you want to run more attack speed, like, you know, because I like to run 29 attack speed sometimes, you know, just for the, you know, spam clear, you know, if I go TM at, blah, 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 but... This right here, I don't care what champion you play, mid lane, so, well, you're not farming a support, anything mid, top, or AD, run this. So last hidden, you know, li li you know, life is easy. And the masteries, hopefully it's long enough for me to spill everything. But yeah, you just can't go wrong with these. They're cheap as fuck, especially if, you know, you don't have enough IP to buy, like, you know, other shit. Um, yeah, this will just make life easy for you. Now, as you can see, I put uh, Ferocity, I put 6, and then 6 and Cunning. 6 and Cunning, I get the Savage, because I want to get that extra damage on hit. And then the Biscuit for extra sus uh, sustain, and plus, in Ferocity, got the attack speed, like 4%. And then uh, Feast, which gives me 20 health every 25 seconds when I kill a unit. And then we got the health regen over here, take uh, two less damage on the second row, and then the flat health rather than the shield, even though I'm playing Toronto, it'd be nice. But wait until you get experience. Let's just go for the early game sustain, because if you farm well, and you do what you did in this video, but do a little bit better than me in the early game farming, you'll be a fucking monster. And then we got the summoner insight, or if you want to go for the health regen and you don't care, uh, a, a teleport would be five minutes instead of uh, 265 or some shit, or 255. And then um, tenacity, which is a plus, and then grass with undying. More HP you stack, the more you're gonna be able to fucking auto attack. And your Q, of course, you do get a health back. But yeah, that was that run. I hope you enjoyed it. Peace, light.